Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Lamborghini Mighty Grim. I'm here today for part 76 for the American Grand Prix here at Cota for the first time since the very first season of this career mode we've had qualifying and this is the grid for the sprint race we are on pole alongside george russell then it's lando norris and jack Doohan, albon and joe pacher and liam lawson gasly and snow to round out the top 10 then it's dennis Hauger, max verstappen ocon and oscar piastri Leclerc and valtteri bottas Enzo Fittipaldi and Lance Stroll, Carlos Sainz and Nick De Vries, and on the final row of the sprint grid is Logan Sargent and Kevin Magnussen. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the sprint race. We're going to be doing it on the mediums and softs. Fortunately, we won't last. This is our qualifying lap though. We're purple sector one, purple sector two, and it was good enough for another pole position. We actually got pole here last time we were here back in season one and that wasn't a very good weekend for us we retired with a gearbox issue here we go though it's the american sprint and we are racing we're going to go straight over to cover off george russell who's got a good start and he's up the inside of us he, he, he takes the lead off the ground off the sprint at time one now it's important we get a good exit and we do we keep george behind George has to set up for B2 as we go going out through one of the greatest sections of racetrack on the calendar. Very much a B-Tech, Maggots, Beckett's and Chapel, but it's still a great part of the track. We skip on now to lap 3 and this is Jack doing P3. What's he, has he got a suspension damage? Look, he's doing his best lightning McQueen impression. He's got a rear left puncture and that's putting the... The front left tyre in the air, he's got no steering whatsoever. And they're so disappointing for him. He's been so good since he's been standing in for the retired Lewis Hamilton. And he's going to have a very long Sunday ahead of him tomorrow as he boxes now to repair that car. That's, he's on the softs, that's why the softs weren't the tyres to be on for the sprint race then. They've popped after three laps and that is Jack Doohan's day effectively done. Lap four now though, we were just keeping George at jabbing distance and it was a fairly comfortable race as the engine's gone red, the engine's red and it is smoking. Our sprint race is done. We're out of the sprint. The game has taken over and we are gonna have to pull over to retire from the sprint race. And that's another time we've seen a sprint win here in America slip away. I think we have a curse round this track. We're out though, off the sprint. We're going to have a very long Sunday as well. George Russell wins then the sprint. Alex Albon finally putting in a good performance. Very good for him in P2. Front row then, can he convert that into a win? And save us some points for us this weekend in the Constructors World Championship because we have been slowly easing away at Mercedes the last couple of rounds so we're going to be starting so dead last for the Grand Prix and it's just about going forward we do have one of the best cars on the grid of course so top five does that need to be the aim I mean the last time we started towards the back was Austria and we got spun round on the second lap so as long as that doesn't happen Let's see what happens. We can only go forward. So we're here then on the grid ahead of the Grand Prix. It's going to be a soft to medium strategy. Odd that the softs are the tyres to be on at the start of the race and not when it was the sprint. But we go with what the game tells us. That is the quickest strategy of the day. And let's see where it takes us then. As the five red lights come on for the American Grand Prix. They're out and we're racing and we've got a fairly decent start but we've had to really turn out the way of Carlos Sainz who's got a poor one. We've nearly binned it before he's even got to the first corner. We're now going to send it though down the inside into turn one. 
we've got we've gained quite a few positions but the engine is smoking once again we've got another big issue with the engine we haven't got through the first lap and the engine is already going unlike the sprint note we are able to carry on and we're gaining some places but I think whatever is coming out the back of our car that's making this so slippery we are skating on this track on this opening lap we've got no grip whatsoever but now let's just keep going let's try and keep it un under control keep calm and carry on as we're on the back of the Ferrari of Charles de Clare and we're quite a long way back but we're gonna lick the stamp send it up the inside and as we get good traction now round the outside of the Ferrari the back end is trying to step out and it does we have a big correction of oversteer we're down the inside of the house now and it's dropped in there as well it's now look the end look at the engine which I think we've got to probably pull over and call it a day here in America but we're still going forward as we have a massive moment this is what I mean we had no grip whatsoever we were skating on this track we were basically Bambi on the opening couple of laps as Leclerc has really taken us we've kept ahead of the Haas but now I've got to back, go back after Leclerc can we do copy and paste of lap one I think this time we are a bit too far back no we're not we're still gonna go for it down the inside job done on the Ferrari and we can now hopefully not make any more mistakes and get on after the Williams as we have another big wobble coming out of that corner and now around the Turkey S corner as now we come into the penultimate corner we've run wide we've lost the back end Leclerc's hit us it's been an unbelievable massive crash there we're both out that's our Grand Prix done in just a lap and a half Leclerc is out that is absolutely unbelievable crash they take the chequered flag then here in Austin in what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? Well, they managed their tyres to absolute perfection. A tyre whisperer, in fact. And that is what set them apart. So, after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So this is a replay then of what happened, an absolute massive crash, we've run wide, we've dropped it on the curb, we're spinning and we've just left Leclerc with absolutely nowhere to go. To see our engine smoking as Leclerc kind of blinded by the smoke and then nearly goes right over the top of us. But I have to admit something, basically this is what's happened. So we've had the sprint race. I wasn't concentrating so we started the race with the component that failed in the sprint that's why the engine was smoking and that's why we've had to retire from the Grand Prix as well but this is the result then George Russell has won Albon couldn't get him still finished with P2 so top two finish as they were Max having a good race from 6th to 3rd. Table chair in the mix as well. Jack Dewan, what a drive from him to get into P5 from 15th. But our race down at the back. We were getting out the gap big time to Max Verstappen. That's our first DNF 
in a long time in this career mode. Leclerc out with wiped him out as well with us. Gazi and Sonoda have also retired from the Grand Prix, but definitely a weekend to forget for us. This is the Drivers' World Championship now then. The gap is now 54 points back to Max Verstappen. Max still hasn't jumped Lewis Hamilton. He, he's been out since the Dutch Grand Prix. That's a long time ago now, a lot of races ago. That just shows you how good Lewis Hamilton was in the first half of the season. George Russell P4, Jack Doohan now is starting to make progress slowly up the order. Obviously he's never going to get anywhere near George Russell, but he's slowly getting up there. Down at the back though, there's still two drivers still yet to score, that being Kevin Magnussen and Logan Sargent. Alex Albon now moving up into P15 in the Drivers' World Championship, slowly going up as well. This is the Constructors then, and Mercedes do start to pull out a bit. The gap was around 30 odd points, it's now 49. Albon's put in a shift to finish P2 there, we didn't really help him. If I was concentrating and we actually took a new component, who knows what could have happened in that race maybe we could have got top five maybe we could have even won we've done that quite a lot in this career mode starting last and winning the grand prix but we'll never know there's still one team still yet to score that being williams so that's been your american grand prix we retired in the sprint retired in the race we go to mexico next and i'll see you then goodbye